Okay, so this video I'm making to show you how to do question 13c. But I've started it here, so I can just read the context and we can think about that when we're doing 13c. So we have um, here, Peter thinks that the ages at inauguration of the presidents of the USA are normally distributed. He collects information about the ages at inauguration in years of 43 presidents of the USA from the internet. The grouped frequency table gives information about his results. So we've got the age at inauguration, that's our x values, and we can see it's between 42 and 72 here, and we've got the frequency here. Now the other part that will be important to us uh, for question C is this part here. So Peter uses a spreadsheet to calculate the following summary statistics for the information in the table. So the sum of the f of x is equal to 2,361. So this is really adding up the ages of all the 43 presidents. Okay? And also we are told that the standard deviation is 6.29. Now in question B, you need to show how uh, they've worked out that the standard deviation is 6.29 using these. Okay? And uh, maybe this as well, or something here. And question C would require us to use some of this and some of that. So I'm going to go there now. So here is question 13C. Now, I want, I've, I've bought this table here because this is going to help us as well, so we can think about this. Now, I want to show you how the two, the histogram and the table compare in terms of how we do this question. So now we have Peter now draws this histogram to show the information in the grouped frequency table. So this was the table. Calculate an estimate for the proportion of these 43 presidents whose age at inauguration was within one standard deviation of the mean. Okay, And give your answer correct to two significant figures. So we, talk, uh, we mentioned mean here, we mentioned standard deviation. And uh, when we say within one standard deviation of the mean, we are looking at the mean take away this one standard deviation to go on the left side and mean add one standard deviation to go on the right side and think about how many people there are there in proportion to the 43. So let's see how we're going to think about this. So we've got the sum of the ages here. We've got 43 presidents. To find the mean, we can do the sum of the ages divided by 43. Okay, so that will give us the mean. Now the mean might be somewhere in here. Now let's just guess something here. So notice here that I am going to be guessing a number. You're not going to use the same number. You're going to have to actually work it out. So I'm going to guess that the mean is about 54. Okay, so 54. And I'm going to, use, I'm going to just approximate that to 6. Okay, so I'm going to say the standard deviation is 6. So if the mean was 54, the mean would be somewhere here. Now I can, if I look at the table, it will be somewhere here. So one of these 13 people, okay, that's roughly where the mean is. So that's where the mean is. And if I subtract one standard deviation from the mean, so I'm, I'm approximating about 6. So if, if I had 54 and the standard deviation was 6, 54 take away 6 is 48. So it would be somewhere around here. And if I add one standard deviation to the mean, so I had 54, and 54, I'm going to guess 6. You're going to use the 6.29. So 54 add 6 would be 60, which would be somewhere here. So I know everyone in this bar plus a proportion of the people in this bar and a proportion of the people in this bar are within one standard deviation of the mean. Okay? So I'm, I want to know how many people that is. Okay? So I'm going to find how many people that is and I'm going to put it over 43. Okay? And that will be the proportion that I'm looking for. Okay? It says I need to give my answer to two significant figures, so I would actually work this out to find the decimal number and give it to two significant figures. Okay? Now, how am I going to do this? So I said my guess was that the mean is 54 and I'm approximating the standard deviation to 6. That took us to 48 here. Now, you can see that the 48 is 1 away from the 47 and it's 4 away from the 52. Okay? So this is a width of 5. So it looks like four-fifths of this bar we need to include for one standard deviation below the mean. Okay? Now let's look on the other side. So if I had 54 as the mean and 6 as a standard deviation, 54 add 6 is 60. So 60 is 2 away from the 62 and 3 away from the 57. So three-fifths of the people represented in this bar would be one standard deviation above the mean. Okay? So now I'm thinking about... I'm thinking about how to um, add all of those people 
and that would, uh, that would be the number of people who are within one standard deviation of the mean, okay, below and above. Now, I've, I've just said three-fifths of the people in this bar. Now, I can do three-fifths of this number because this number actually corresponds to the people in this bar. And I said four-fifths of the number of people in this bar, so I can do four-fifths of this number because four-fifths of this number is what corresponds to four-fifths of this bar. Or I could use the histogram and use this 4, so the width here is going to be 4 that we're looking at because 48 I'm thinking of. So let me just draw a line here. So in my example, there'll be 48 here and it would go through 60 here. So I have a width of 4 and a height of 2.2. So 4 times 2.2 would give me the number of people I'm interested in here. Okay, notice that 4 fifths of this number would actually give me the same number. Now, on this side, I've got 3 times 2, I think it is. Okay, so 3 times 2 would be 6. And notice that 3 fifths of this number is actually the same. So I could use the table or I could use the histogram to do this question. And in the middle, oh, I need all of these people and that is 13 people. Okay, so all of those numbers I would put here above this 43 and I'm going to add them up. I'm going to divide it by 43, get a number, and that number I will round to two significant figures. Okay, and that would be my answer for this question.